We'll start with the Mustard R30, size 12 dry fly hook. We've got Shear 40 knot brown. This is a very nice little caddis that I use quite a lot. Let me just go back to that, remove that. This is a very good pattern when the fish are being very choosy. We want a length of 3 aught dark brown tying thread. This is for the rib, so we just tie this in at the rear and we'll go a little bit forward, hang that out the way. Just like that, we'll fold it over, go our wee ways back, trim that off. Go back right to the base of the rib there. Then we have a little cinnamon super fine dubbing. And we don't want to wrap this super tight. We'll just attach it to the thread, we'll slide it up and we'll just catch it in. What we want to do is just go up over the body, not so it's super tight, so there's a little bit of air trapped in this dubbing. That's perfect. We go forward, take our rib, and we'll give this one. About six wraps and we'll twist the rib up. And then we'll put our rib on. Perfect. Tie that off. Remove that. And we can just give it a little brush to pull the fibres out. This will give it a much more realistic presentation. And those fibres are just a, just a tiny bit, you don't need much. That's great. And we take a little bit of brown olive super fine. And just slide that up. Excellent. I've got a ginger ackle. I'll tie that in there. This is not a traditional hackle we're tying in here. It's uh, we're going to cut the top off it. So we just trim that down to size so it doesn't overshoot the hook eye. We go back tight into here. That's good. And we take a tiny bit of dark olive, super fine dubbing. And again, not too tight. forward with this and right to the front then what I like to do is put a whip finish in there just so nothing goes anywhere and we'll take our hackle and we don't need much here 
two or three turns. I'll come back up, tie that off. Pull everything back. I'm going front three or four times. Then we can remove the surplus hackle. Make sure the hackle is nicely distributed and proportioned. And then what we do is we come in with our scissors and we remove everything on top like that. I've got a little bunch of beige poly yarn keep this right on top of the hook it back take our whip finisher nice and tight can remove that and we want our wing a little bit longer Make sure you get hold of all the poly at a slight angle and then we come in just as you would with an LK caddis and we want a little head at the front like that. Then turn it upside down we can pull all the fibres from the hackle Try and separate them like so, and they should hold in position. If not, you can trim away any that are right underneath. We want this to sit flat on the surface, it makes a beautiful footprint, and that's the polywing caddis. If you enjoy the videos, Please like, share, subscribe and thanks for watching.